continent undiscovered for 150 years that's just been brought back to life. John Lino was a famous 19th century poet and campaigner who also happened to be a shopkeeper in Uxbridge. He wrote a tribute to the town that he loved, but it ended up collecting dust in the back of a cupboard. Well, now it's been found and made into a song by some present day shopkeepers from the street where he worked. Lucrezia Millerini went to meet him. What years I've squandered since first I wandered from the gentle windings of the Cone Stream shore. Words written almost 150 years ago about the bells of St Margaret's Church in Uxbridge. Now resounding with a whole new generation. on a work by John Lino, a writer and shopkeeper on Windsor Street who would look out onto St Margaret's hearing the bells chime. His poem lay undiscovered for years until last year when a copy was found at a local library. It piqued the interest of Scott and Chris. They run a shop on that very same street and hear those very same bells. When you read it, it scans almost like a rock and roll song, mm. considering it was 1860 like, or 1870. No one really knows when it was written. So we thought we'd put it to a rock and roll track and we can only replay rock and roll, so yeah. it had to be. Do you think it was his attempt to kind of put Uxbridge on the map a bit as well? There's definitely an element of fun in it and he was, yeah, I mean, he, he certainly had something against Ickenham, didn't he? Yeah, he, was, he doesn't uh, like Ickenham. Like Not just neighbouring Ickenham, Lino's poem also has a go at London's famous bow bells. Got to be tactful, haven't I? Because I think it's saying that our bells are the best around. I couldn't possibly comment. I would say our bells are beautiful, mm -hmm. but I, I guess all bells are a little bit different. Alan Ricks knows all about that. He's been ringing the bells here since 1978. The first time we rang, the congregation went from 40 to 60, because people came and said, why are the bells ringing? There's a service at one o'clock, songs of praise. Oh, we'll come. Back to the song and still no feedback from that other famous face, local MP Boris Johnson. Boris would like it. He's a bit of a Noel Coward fan, isn't he? And he's like, and I think I think he'd I think he'd like it, so we'll send him a copy. Expect a copy in your inbox soon, Boris. Lucrezia Mallarini, ITV News, Oxbridge. Just before we go, a field.